Well, hello there. I'm uh, William Brantley from the North Jackson, Tennessee area uh, in North Jackson uh, near the Westtown Common Shopping Center on Walker Road. About ready to give you tonight's uh, or today's climate summary and a forecast for the next few days and in just a few moments. I'm running just a touch late, but uh, here I am. <laughs> Better late than not at all, I guess. Uh, turned out to be another very beautiful Saturday. Um, I believe it's April the 15th, 2017. Uh, Easter Eve day, <laughs> if I can call it that. Um, and tomorrow's Easter Sunday. And Happy Easter, a little bit early to everybody. Today turned out to be a very beautiful day. Uh, had a low temperature this morning of 60. Today's high got up to 85 degrees here in North Jackson. And uh, no rain fell today, of course. That's just a sort of a glimpse of some of the uh, uh, stats for you. Um, Easter Sunday's not looking too bad now. Uh, the very last check that I looked at uh, was indicating variable, variably cloudiness from midnight to approximately mid-afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, roughly around 3 o'clock. Then uh, it's going to become mostly cloudy. Then we have a, about a 50% chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms from then on till uh, what is it mid evening I think or something something along those lines and then uh, the chance uh, increases from 50 well from 40 percent tomorrow afternoon to 50 percent by tomorrow night that's what I was going to try to say uh, so really most of Easter doesn't look all that bad now uh, the, 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 the heavier if I can get it out <laughs> Heavier showers and thunderstorms look like it's going to wait till maybe Monday afternoon or near Monday afternoon. 10, 11, 12 o'clock Monday afternoon. So yay, we're going to turn out to have a pretty Sunday after all. The way it's looking right now anyways. That's a little hint. So let me go ahead and walk you through the different uh, images that I show you and then, and then we'll take it from there I guess and uh, uh, go from there. All right. First one, I'm going to change the maps from giving you the weather services forecast map. I'm going to give you one this time, the current service map, uh, uh, thanks to uh, the Weather Channel. Uh, there's, and uh, go from there. All right, hold on a second. This one is their map. And it's only one because it's the current map as of, uh, oh, what is that? Uh, 8.12 Eastern Time be 7, 7 12, uh, Central Daylight Time. A little over an hour ago. And as, as you can see, really today, the whole country is not that bad a shape. The entire United States is. Uh, this one here shows the uh, map features uh, and the precipitation together, which I like a little bit better. Uh, some precipitation up northeast, as you can see, uh, there, and uh, up in southeastern Canada. Uh, where you see cold fronts and warm fronts and low pressure systems all over the place, <laughs> up there in the Great Lakes. It's straddling the U.S. Canadian border, <clears throat> but other than that, that's where most of the precipitation is too, by the way. Uh, but down here where we're at, uh, there's some scattered stuff down in Louisiana and over there in uh, Kansas. But and then there's a couple low pressures out west, but uh, not a lot associated with them at the time. So at least not according to this map. Get it real close where you can see where the precipitation is a little bit better. Overall, though, the whole country, Florida, is still in pretty good shape. Let me see if I can read tiny showers maybe off the coast of uh, Florida on the Atlantic side, maybe. Just a little light stuff. But other than that, uh, the whole nation is really not that bad. Almost 90% rain-free. Cool, cool. 
Alrighty, I see that you just just see that one. And of course Tennessee's clear of course. Let me move on to uh, to the to the radar. I'm gonna show a different radar this time too. This is the National Weather Service's uh, local radar out of Memphis of course. And it doesn't show as many towns as the other one oops shows, but still gives you a general idea. As of 8.07 p.m., uh, West Tennessee is clear. Uh, most of the area, only spot that it might be raining <coughs> down there near Clarksdale, Mississippi, I believe that is, not too far from there. And right along the Mississippi River there, it's moving north. Uh, that, and that may be uh, rain for Memphis uh, later on tonight, but... I don't think we're going to get anything until uh, tomorrow afternoon. There is a, maybe a small 20% chance between midnight and sunrise of a very isolated shower, but or a thunderstorm, that's about it, but not enough to really growl about, <laughs> if I can call it growling. Okay, now let me show you a little bit of a regional view where you are now, uh, southeastern country. The show is really not a whole lot going on. Tennessee is precipitation free. Uh, and there's some down there, like it's, uh, you know, along the Mississippi, Arkansas border, the south, like the south, like we just, like just showed you a minute ago. There's a few that were in Arkansas, but they're dissipating as the sun goes down. And some down there in Louisiana is probably going to do the same thing, dissipate as the sun goes down. Uh, that's, that's it. Uh, now, if you want to know a little bit more about Florida, just in, I don't know if you have somebody that that's vacationing down there, here's a good map of uh, Florida in that respect. Uh, nothing's going on down there. As you can see from right here, a uh, few uh, scattered showers off the coast. Might be some down there near Miami, but they look light. It look light at this point, and just a little dab right along the Georgia Florida coast, uh, state line weather, and then on up north into Tennessee, uh, maybe a little bit there southwest of Chattanooga, east of Huntsville, Alabama, maybe. But other than that. Even the southeast is in the clear. Alrighty. Let me go back to the other map that I started off with. And I might come back to it in a minute. Alright, the next one will be the satellite picture. Okay, let me see if I can get that adjusted the way I'd like to. Alrighty. This is as of... Uh, 9 p.m., 8 p.m. Uh, Central Central uh, Daylight Time, 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Okay. Uh, Central Daylight Time, my satellite. Okay. As you can see, most of the southeast, like the radar confirms, uh, is generally fair for the most part. A few little, you know, thick clouds here and there. A few down in Florida, but not enough to really cause any trouble. Uh, anywhere in the southeastern section of the U.S., Tennessee's uh, basically nice. Uh, Texas is okay, except you get down to the Big Bend area. There's got like some storms over down in that area. The heaviest storms right now is way up there to the northwest of us. In, in parts of Kansas and North, northern Oklahoma and uh, Missouri and on up into Iowa. And uh, that may be our uh, Monday afternoon storms by the time they regenerate yet down here. But uh, not here tonight though. We're in, we're in the clear tonight and it looks like it'll be probably okay early in the morning, morning around sunrise. Okay, that's the satellite photo for you. Uh, let me move on and give you uh, the stats, which I will have to do this first, which I keep forgetting to, 
<laughs> Make sure I can get in on that one. Ah, I would have to do that again. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, Lord, I wish I would forget to do that. Mm, mm, mm. That takes more time up, too, when I do that. I apologize for that, folks. Okay. Be ready in just a moment. Okay. Uh, one of these days I'll learn how this stuff. <laughs> I don't want to take so much time out to 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 move it around for you. Okay. Uh, let me start off with this one here. And then we'll take it from there. Okay. Uh, start off with a 5 o'clock observation here in North Jackson. Uh, I'll read them off to you while you, while you uh, show it to you. At 5 o'clock this Saturday afternoon, uh, the skies are mostly clear. And the temperature at that time was 82 degrees. The dew point was 55 degrees. Humidity was 40%. The wind was out of the south at 15 miles per hour, gusting to 25 miles per hour. And the barometric pressure, 26 miles per hour, I'm sorry, gusting to 26. Uh, the barometric pressure was 30.10 inches of mercury. Uh, today's low was 60. Uh, normal is 48. Today's high was 85. Uh, normal was uh, is weather 72, and of course no rainfall. Okay. Let me show you this one. Okay, uh, as of 5 p.m. of course, the lowest barometric pressure today was uh, 30.10 inches of mercury at 5 p.m. The highest was 30.23 inches as of uh, 9 and 10 a.m. <coughs> Excuse me. The lowest relative humidity was 38% as of 2 p.m. And the highest was 80% at 6 a.m. Okay. The highest wind gust, I think, is next. And that would be this one. Today's highest wind gust was at the Jackson Airport, was south at 31 miles per hour. And that's a little windy. And that occurred just before noon at 11.51 a.m. Okay, now let me give you the records in general and they would be this and the records for April the 15th are the hottest high would be 89 degrees in 2006 remember our high today was 85 uh, the coolest time for today would be 51 and that was in 1962 and 2004. The warmest low would be 67, and that was in 1972. Coldest low would be 29 degrees, and that occurred in 2008. And the uh, rainfall record would be 1.87 inches in 1961. And remember, there is no snowfall record, so I'm not listing it anymore. Aren't listing it anymore until uh, next winter. All right, time for the forecast. Forecast page, of course, this is the one I usually read it off of, but I'm going to actually let you read it with me as I go through it. As you can see, I won't use the WordPress site this time. SouthJacksonWeather.wordpress.com uh, I only missed a high by one degree. That's doing good. <laughs> I predicted a high of 84, wind up at 85. That's doing good. Uh, the sun sets tonight, which it already has, and I bought an hour ago, 
at uh, 729. Uh, it'll be rising tomorrow morning at 621 for all of you uh, uh, Easter early sunrise service churches that wants to get up and have a service at sunrise. 621 is the magic moment, moment here in Jackson. And uh, the moon will be rising tonight at uh, 11.34 p.m. and be setting tomorrow morning at 9.19 a.m. Okay. And for Easter Sunday, April 16th, uh, it's going to be very, very cloudy now. Till mid afternoon around three o'clock, with a forty percent chance of uh, of a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. Then it's going to become mostly cloudy around mid afternoon, with a fifty percent chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms by mid evening. So the chances are 40% basically from midnight till mid-evening, tomorrow evening, then a 50% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. And most cases, I think we will we'll be all right. Uh, okay, tomorrow's low will be near 61 degrees, which is kind of warm. The high will be about 80. We'll have south winds at 10 to 20. And like I mentioned earlier, sunrise is at 6.21 tomorrow, sets at 7.29 tomorrow night. The moon will be rising at uh, 12.24 a.m. Uh, and setting tomorrow morning at 10.24 a.m. Okay. And for Monday, that's going to be the wet day, <laughs> I guess. Monday looks like very, very cloudy. Now that does mean you're going to get some sun and then some cloudy conditions. There's a little bit of a mix there. And then there's a 50% chance for showers and thunderstorms till noon. Then mostly cloudy with an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms. So it sounds like Monday afternoon on. It's going to be the best threat for showers and thunderstorms for Jackson and nearby on Monday. With the low near 60 and the high of 77, with southwest winds at 5 to 10. The sun rises Monday morning at 6.20, sets at 7.30. Moon rises at 12.48 a.m. and sets at 10.49 a.m. Uh, Monday morning. Okay. Move on to Tuesday and Wednesday, I guess. Tuesday's forecast calls for mostly cloudy skies with a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms becoming fair by Tuesday night. With a low near 60 and a high of 79, with south winds of 10 to 20. The sun rises at 6.16, sets at 7.31. The moon rises at 1.12 a.m. and sets at 11.39 a.m. On Wednesday the 19th, it's going to be, so it looks like it's going to be very, very cloudy with a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms till Wednesday night, then becoming fair. With the low near 60 degrees and a high of 84 with southwest winds at 10 to 20 and the last quarter moon is on the 19th wednesday okay and we go into thursday and friday i guess thursday's forecast calls for Mostly fair skies with a low near 62 and a high of 85 with southwest winds at 10 to 20 
Today you see the sunrise set times and so on. Friday the 21st is going to be mostly cloudy with 80% uh, chance of showers and thunderstorms. 40% uh, chance by Friday night. With the low near 60 and a high of 80 with west winds at 10 to 20. Okay, let me bring Saturday up for you. And that's uh, next Saturday, of course. The 22nd is going to be fair skies till Saturday night. Then mostly cloudy with a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. With a low near 59 and high of 80. With south winds at 10 to 20. On next Sunday, the 23rd, it's going to be mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of showers till Sunday night, and then just mostly cloudy. With low near 57 and a high of 68 with west winds at 10 to 20. And I'll go ahead and show you Monday. Might as well. That's the last one anyways. Monday week, the 24th, fair skies with low near 48 and a high of 69 with northwest winds at 10 to 20, and there you have the sun and moon rises and set times. Uh, okay, and let me go, go ahead and go back to the more, tomorrow's forecast and you kind of concentrate on it. I think I'm going to let it sit on that one. Uh, while I end the taping, I'm going to try to. Uh, did I can do this right? There we go. And once again, I'm going to repeat tomorrow real quick. Very be cloudy till mid afternoon with a 40% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Then mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms by mid evening. Low 61, high of 80, wind south at 10 to 20, and again sunrise is at 621. Alright, I'm just going to let it kind of uh, sit there and let you look at it uh, for just a few moments. I think that concludes everything. I read everything else to you. I don't think I left anything out. Uh, no rain today, of course. Uh, only thing I might not have gave you was that for the month of April, I've had 1.03 inches of rain, and for 2017, I'm up to 13.29 inches of rain. And I think that covers everything that I can think of. I hope, I hope I covered it all for you folks, besides I'm getting a little long, I wasn't expecting to go quite this long, but anyways, that's life sometimes, <laughs> you know. Well, alrighty, I'm going to let you go for tonight, and I hope all of you have a fabulous rest of tonight, Saturday, April 15th, 2017, and I uh, hope all of you have a fantastic Sunday, Easter Sunday morning. I hope Easter goes for you great. And uh, I'm just thankful for Easter and I'm thank thankful for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and for dying on the cross for me to save, uh, save me from my sins and rising from the dead to make sure I can have eternal life through Him. And I thank Him for everything He done for me and uh, for everybody else. And uh, thank you, Jesus, for what you've done for me. Uh, otherwise, I hope all of you have a great Sunday. I hope you enjoy your Easter Sunday uh, um, activities and events. I don't think the weather is going to interfere all that much. Uh, and I hope uh, I get a chance to talk to you again tomorrow evening via uh, video, of course. And until then, my folks, my friends, um, good night. And God bless you.